हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ वेब मैट्रिक्स ट्रेडर्स क्लासरूम टुडे वी आर गोना टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर इंडिकेटर्स दैट इज आरएसआई एंड हाउ पीपल मिसयूज दैट इंडिकेटर बाय यूजिंग इट एज एन ओवर बॉट एंड ओवर सोल्ड इंडिकेटर देर इज अ मिथ दैट वेन अ सिक्योरिटी बिकम्स ओवर सोल्ड देन there is a buying interest in the security and when it becomes overbought there is a selling interest in the security it's a myth and come on let's uh, bust this myth a uh, small brief about myself my name is uh, bharat junjun wala and uh, i am the editor of uh, web metrics traders classroom so let's begin so overbought or oversold today we are going to uh, we going to see what does overbought indicate what does oversold indicate and how can we trade overbought zones and how can we trade oversold zones so first look at let's just look at one scenario where we will see a security is overbought and how a security behaves when it becomes overbought so this is the daily chart of uh, nifty of course and i have marked with blue arrows on the rsi Uh, at the 70 levels and the 30 levels because generally 70 levels on the rsi is considered as the over bot levels and 30 levels are considered as the over sold levels as written in the book uh, by wells wilder in his new concept to technical analysis so here we can see every time the rsi was becoming or moving into an over bot zone means according to uh, overbought zone means there is a selling interest the security has over has become overbought means that there is a selling interest so we see every time the security has moved into an overbought zone the security has made an higher high and what is the definition of an uptrend of course when security is making an higher high or a higher top it is an Uh, uptrend it is in uptrend so every time a security moves into an over bot zone it is making an higher high so over bot means we are into a persistent higher high we are into an persistent bull zone it is not fit for selling it is not for creating shorts and same this is an one hour chart of ashok leland and we can see every time the security has moved into an over bought zone it has made a higher high now suppose you have seen this over bought zone and you have taken a sell signal here so see the damage it could have done to your account similarly people see a triple top in rsi they see this is a triple top in rsi and they start selling double top in rsi they start selling no it has made an higher high so how can you sell it you cannot sell it because oversold overbought means more buying interest it is not that overbought is uh, depicting any weakness in the security on the other hand it depicts strength in the security let us see the next slide this is the oversold zone now you see in the similar way whenever the rsi tags the 30 levels it makes and lower low and when prices are making lower low we define it as an downtrend so every time the security uh, moves uh, rsi moves into the over oversold zone the security makes an lower low means oversold is not an signal to buy it is a signal that it says that security is still in a downtrend and it may con a continue or persist for some time same with the hourly chart of hdfc bank and you can see in the hourly chart also every time the security moves into an over uh, over uh, over uh, oversold zone uh, the security have made an lower low so oversold is not for selling oversold is not for buying sorry oversold is not for buying oversold is for selling oversold tells you the security is been sold not it is intending to buy so 
Oversold means everybody is selling, so you should also be selling on rise. And overbought means everybody is buying, so you should also buy on dips. Right? So you, uh, to get more insight on RSI, we have uh, uh, many setups in RSI to trade. Uh, there are around more than 10 to 12 RSI tradable setups and there are uh, at more than you know 10 setups that are very much unconventional of how people are using RSI. There is a small workshop of uh, five days that we are conducting online uh, at, called the Wave Matrix Traders Classroom. This is the first series. In this series, we will uh, describe, we discuss the advanced concepts in Bollinger Bands and advanced concept in RSI. And here are the details. And if you are anyhow interested in learning more about the indicators, you can drop me a mail and I'll forward you uh, the details of the in of the program so uh, after attending this program one thing i can assure that the way you look at the markets will be changed fully right you will be not looking at the markets in the same way as you have been doing before the preview uh, of the markets will change how you look at rsi how you look at the bollinger bands will change uh, forever after doing this program to get more details, you can just email me at um, uh, get us at wavematric.com and our team will respond to you uh, most probably in uh, six hours. And if you are interested, you can let us know. So, thank you. And for more insights, you can uh, visit our website at wavematric.com. You can follow me at Bharat J82, my Twitter handle. And this is my Facebook page, Ribya Wavematric. My LinkedIn link, Skype me at Bharat and you can always uh, mail us your suggestions at get us at wetmetric.com thank you so much i look forward to meet you